Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I use Gmail to organize my life. Um, just so you know, this isn't actually my account, it's just a test account, but I've configured it to be exactly the same as the real account that I use every day. Um, so first, at the top, you see my inbox. That's where my incoming messages arrive, messages that I haven't had a chance to, to look at yet. Below that, you'll see messages where I still need to reply, and below that, you'll see messages where I'm waiting for someone to reply to me. On the left, you'll see this little info link, um, and this is for messages that I flagged as maybe, you know, information that I want to be able to find quickly without needing to search for it. So how did I set all of this up? Um, on the settings uh, page, in the labs tab, I enabled three labs. I enabled superstars, multiple inboxes, and quick links. And then I configured all of them. To do that, um, first starting with superstars, on the general tab you'll see um, a superstars area and you can choose what superstars you want to use. It gives you more options than just the, the plain yellow stars. Um, if you hover over them you can also see what their name is. This is really useful if you want to use them with something like multiple inboxes. Um, so I have set up extra panes uh, on, my, on my inbox page. Uh, for certain search queries. Uh, so you can see, for example, the search query has green star. Um, that corresponds to any message that I've tagged with the green superstar. Um, and I've called that pane watched. Um, I've decided how many conversations to show in each pane, and I've decided where to put it. Personally, I like it below my new messages, but some people might like it above or to the right-hand side. And you can enter any search queries in here that you want, but I really like using this in conjunction with superstars. Um, so let me take you through my workflow. So I open my first message. Let's say, you know, this isn't something I need to do anything with, but it's good information to have on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and tag that with my info button. Um, but I don't need it in my inbox anymore now, right? So I'm going to push archive. Archive just takes it out of my inbox, but it's still in my account. You know, if I open up my all mail, I'll see it there. And if I search for the message, I can find it. And if I click into this info link, um, you see there's the message right there at the top. All that Archive does is take it out of my inbox so I don't have to look at it all the time. Okay, so my next message, you know, let's say I read through this thread, um, and I need to reply, but I don't have time right now. I'm about to run out the door. So I've tagged it with my reply superstar. Um, and again, I can archive this one because I know now that I can find it really easily. Um, my last message here, um, there's nothing else to say on this thread. I'm done with it. You know, I don't need to do anything, so I'm just going to archive that one too. And if I need to find it later, all I have to do is search for it or open up all mail. Um, so now you can see that the threads that I tagged before is one I needed to reply is now in this box. And after I, you know, open up one of these threads and reply on it, all I have to do is untag the superstar and it'll go away and, and leave that box. For the quick links, the way that I set up this one is you can enter any search query. So let's, you know, say has green star, just as an example. Um, and when you, or you can enter any page actually, you can open up a specific message or, or open up um, any of these views over here if, if you really wanted to create a second link to them. Um, and then you click the add quick link button. That prompts you to name it, so we'll call this one watched. And ta-da, now there's a link to that. So no matter what view I'm in, if I click on to watched, it'll take me right to that same page. Um, so that's a quick overview of some of the, the cool labs that I've combined. Um, I hope you find it useful. Thanks.